so this is my second day in London and I'm gonna go to a English breakfast restaurant. They're known for their English breakfast and they're open 24 hours. And then I'm gonna go to Tower Bridge and look around and see the boundaries. So today we are having breakfast at Polo Bar 24-7. It's a blend of classic charm and modern convenience, making it the perfect spot for any time of day or night. So whether you're craving a hearty breakfast, a quick snack, or just some afternoon tea, they have you covered 24-7. So today we are indulging in the British experience, having a tea and full English breakfast. I mean, what's a trip to London without enjoying these iconic treats, right? So I got myself a traditional black tea with some milk and I am going to enjoy it until my breakfast comes out. Just take a look at this spread. We've got crispy bacon, savory sausage, eggs cooked to perfection, grilled tomatoes, mushrooms, and buttery toast. And don't forget the baked beans. This English breakfast was the perfect English breakfast to have. I mean, it was huge. They had everything that you can think of for an English breakfast. It was delicious. I tried black pudding for the first time and it was okay. Uh, didn't really like it still, um, just like I thought I would. But everything else was really great and I love my baked beans and eggs and I love the mushrooms and tomatoes and made it taste really fresh and all the meat like the bacon and sausage. It was just so delicious. I would recommend coming here if you're looking for a hearty breakfast. So this building here is called the Walkie Talkie and they have a observation deck and a bar and restaurant on the very top and it looks very beautiful. I didn't know but you have to reserve in advance for the sky buddy. And nothing's available like during my whole trip. So I guess I will have to go next time. But it's okay. Um, I gotta see the building. So I'm gonna move on to my next itinerary, which is the Tower of London and just looking around that area, crown jewels and all that. So let's go. So put it in your Google Maps for the London shop. Tower of London shop. <laughs> so this tower is a thousand years old. I got the audio guide and I would definitely recommend getting it yourself if you want to learn more about the
about the history in depth as you walk around. He loved art and architecture and was very religious. He rebuilt Westminster Abbey into the magnificent church that stands today. that King Henry VIII beheaded his wives right here and it's a little creepy I feel like there's probably ghosts right there but there's a legend that says that if the ravens leave the tower that the kingdom will fall and that was centuries ago and they still keep up with it This was the executioner's tools and it definitely looks really sharp still.
chana masala. So that's uh, chickpeas, and there's onions, coriander, and I believe pomegranate seeds, which that part is interesting. It's very flavorful and um, the pomegranate seed gives it like kind of a sweet taste. I like the fresh onion in it and um, the chana masala is still warm and hot so it's very delicious. I like the um, yogurt that they put inside too. Um, it makes it like a little bit creamy and a little tart in there. I think this is good if you're looking for like a vegetarian option. And also something very flavorful too. I was kind of scared that the Indian food here wouldn't be like very flavorful because that's kind of what I've heard from other people but um, it's actually very delicious. sausage meatball kind of with a flaky pastry on the outside. It is pretty good though. It kind of reminds me of the the dim sum that they had with the flaky pastry and the red pork. So yeah. less than five bucks. I'd probably give this like maybe like a four out of five. It's made with like pork and it totally like tastes like a meatball. It does taste really good though so I would recommend getting it. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out my next vlog as I go to historical landmarks in London, enjoy more British classics, go to the Shakespeare Globe, and explore more of central London and what it has to offer, including some famous pubs, some famous restaurants and meals, as well as some exciting places within the city. I hope you enjoy it. Bye and see you soon.